are you ready to start your own Amate bark painting through these art forms? The Otomi Indians of San Pablito, Mexico are known for their decorative and colorful Amate bark paintings. Bark from the Amate or the wild fig tree is boiled and then soaked until it's soft and pliable. It is then pounded with stones into a pulp to create paper-like sheets in rich browns. Once it is dry, it's painted with decorative motifs of local animals, people, buildings in bright, often fluorescent colors. The background remains unpainted so that the beautiful variations in texture and color of the bark itself become part of the art. We're gonna be making our own Amate bark painting and our goal is to use the elements of art to create a bark painting that looks kind of like what the Mexicans would have would have made or still make today. So we're going to be using lines to draw our bird. We're going to be using shapes to draw the bird's body. We're going to be using colors, really bright colors, and we're going to be using value. We're going to be creating light and dark colors by mixing white and um, black. We're also going to be using texture. So this art project uses a lot of the elements of art. Now value is one of the elements we haven't studied yet. Value is the range of light to dark. When you have a regular color like red, it's also called a hue. We want to create light red. By mixing white you make something called a tint and it actually looks pink. So red plus white is pink and that's a tint. Um, so when you're painting, you can mix white to make colors lighter, and the more values you use, the more realistic it looks. Shading is also another technique that you can use to create value. That means making some parts of the shape darker. And these are actually forms, they're not shapes, because they're 3D. So that is our goal today, to use value and to use the other elements of art to create our own Amate bark painting. Now, I found a picture of a bird that I really like, but you can pick any type of bird you want. I have a drawing book that shows you lots of different kinds of birds, the eagle. Some of these are more American birds. Um, I will let you pick any one you want, but the ones from Mexico are usually birds like the dove. Um, this is a common bird in the Mate paintings called a morning dove. And this shows you how you just start with a simple shape, like an oval. So I'm going to be doing this one that looks kind of like a dove. I found this picture online. I'm not sure who the artist is. Um, but we want to start with a brown piece of paper. Now we don't have the actual mate paper, but we do know paper comes from trees. So right now it has a texture that feels very smooth. The first thing you want to do is start roughening up the texture. So the more you crumble it and squish it, the more it's going to have a texture that's like wood. So I want to make sure so I'm going to uncrumble it, flatten it out, and then I want to crumble it again. I'm going to do this several times until the paper starts to get soft. I'm going to rub my hands on it. And it'll feel a lot like wood. Now we also do this to make cave paintings to make it look like rock. So crumbling your paper is a good way to create tactile texture. That means texture you can touch with your hands. All right, now I'm ready to start drawing my bird with pencil first. So I want to use simple shapes and I'm going to start with a line. Now that, I've, now that I've drawn my bird with pencil, I'm going to trace it with a sharpie so I can see it.
So I'm just going to start with the regular blue and I'm going to paint all of my bird with that color. Just this part of my bird, the bird's head. But then I'm going to use the shade at the bottom of the neck and the tint at the top to create value. And that will make my bird look more three-dimensional or real. And so I now have I'm, more. Yeah. Now I have, now I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the dark blue. That's gonna be kind of the darker color or the shade. It doesn't have black mixed in with it, but I could mix a little bit of black if I wanted it really dark. Now, right there where the light blue and the dark blue meet, I'm gonna mix it a little bit with my brush. And now I'm gonna wipe my brush off on, Can I have wipe it on the newspaper. I'm gonna wipe it on the newspaper, and then I'm going to dip it in to the white and I'm going to make light blue. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white with blue to make a light blue. So now I'm going to use the lighter color and I'm going to mix that at the top. And I'm going to blend it. That's a little bit too light. So I'm going to mix it with this. There we go. That looks better. Now I'm going to wash out my paintbrush, and now I'm going to do the next color, which is pink. So I'm going to take the red, I'm going to make a tint, which would be white, and red equals pink. There's even a little bit of magenta 